Hey guys, this is Strength Coach Freeman, and welcome to another episode of Strength and Conditioning for Esport Athletes. So today's episode, we're going to talk a little more about soft tissue work. Uh, as I mentioned in my introductory video, uh, I feel that strength and conditioning, a strength conditioning training session has four components that you need to cover in order for the session to be maximally effective. All right, so the first part would be your soft tissue work. All right. Second would be your movement preparation. Third would be your uh, training, so either your competition, right? So either you're doing your gaming, or you're doing some sort of strengthening, or a combination of the two. And then finally, the fourth part would be your static stretching for recovery. Today's episode is going to focus on that first step, the very first thing you need to do for a training session, and that would be your soft tissue work. So today I have this small wooden item, and it is a type of roller. Um, pretty much a miniature version of what's known as a foam roller. So a lot of other athletes will use this device called a foam roller. It's literally a cylinder of a hard foam, sometimes made out of PC pipe uh, in the center. And it's used for working on, for an individual to do self-myofascial tissue release. So pretty much you lay on it, um, and it's kind of like a self-massage, where you can kind of determine you know, do you have any trigger points, do you have any knotted areas, and you just use your body weight to roll on this item to uh, pretty much work out those trigger points prior to activity. And it's, um, it's very useful, um, helps also get some blood flow to the area, again it flattens out the fascia. Uh, in one of my classes uh, that I took at, at school, uh, we actually did like a little mini test where we had different groups. You know, one group only did foam rolling, one group only did dynamic warm-ups, and one group did both. And we, we measured a few different, uh, we measured the individual's range of motion before and after doing each. And just by doing the foam rolling, uh, movement, uh, range of movement increased by, by several inches with, um, I believe it was a static leg raise. So it was really cool how doing this kind of work can really improve mobility and functionality uh, within a few minutes. It's not a permanent change, you need to keep doing it to, to get those longer lasting results. But uh, a great thing to do prior to your exercise, prior to your training, or you know, if you're doing a very long gaming session, if you're doing ga you know, gaming for, for 12 hours, uh, hopefully you take some breaks, and using a tool like this can definitely help you uh, relieve any tension in your hands, keep things operating uh, smoothly. So I'll zoom in to show how this works, but, but pretty much you apply pressure with your palm and you gently roll and nice and slowly roll back and forth from usually the base of your palm to the, to the fingertips and just apply a little bit of pressure and this will start to work out some of those trigger points. All right, so let's zoom in to get a better shot of how this works. Okay, so here's a close-up of this device. As you can see, it's a cylindrical piece of wood got some rubber on the ends to allow it to roll. It's very easy to use. Pretty much you're going to take your hand, starting with the, the palm, base of the palm, you're going to apply some light pressure, and then you're going to slowly draw the hand back towards yourself, ideally at a rate of about four seconds per inch. And all the way down to the tips of the fingers, and then roll it all the way back. Pretty simple. You're looking for trigger points, so look for any sensitive spots that may just feel a little bit knotted or tight. When you find those, stop and press into them a little bit longer. Okay, some spots like down here I feel are pretty knotted, right at the base of my palm. So again, I recommend using that three to five breath method, about 20 seconds. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Go for about three to five of those deep breaths. Okay, you can also kind of speed it up a little bit. Um, again, first I recommend going slow, but if you want, you can kind of do some faster rolls. Try working into the different parts of your hand, right? So you can work onto the fingers, 
work onto the outside of the hand a little bit. Kind of work in at different angles. Again, you can do some fast, but also come back and remember to go slow. Right, if you feel a trigger point, stop and apply pressure. And then once it starts to feel a little bit better, gently roll on that spot. Okay. And that's pretty much how it works. You're not really going to use this for the back of the hand. I think that would be a little too sensitive back there. Um, but for that palm, that meat of the hand, um, you know, down by the thumb, the, not the bone, of course, the tissue. And then, of course, into that outside of the hand. I think those are your, your best spots to work.